Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a new... <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a new video. So as you can already tell by the title of this video, I will be doing my August favorites. As I've mentioned in my last favorites video, I will be bringing back, I mean I'll try to bring back more of the monthly favorites video on my channel because I just love all the good old YouTube videos, you know. So yeah, that is what I'll be doing. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, definitely hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of me. And also, if you can, please hit the notification bell as well because sometimes when I upload a new video it doesn't go to some of your sub boxes so you wouldn't know that I've already uploaded a new video and you would miss it mm -hmm. so we wouldn't want that so hit the bell button so yeah let's just jump right in now I know in my last favorite video most of the items you have all seen before because I just always show you in my vlogs this time I make sure that I don't show you all the items in my vlog and just keep it to myself. It's really difficult. It's really, really difficult. A lot of the items here are all really, really fresh for you, I guess. Mm -hmm. So let's just start. I'm gonna first start off with the random things first because I only have like one of it. So this is my favorite coffee to drink in the month of August. Salute brand Chap Tabe. Chap Tabe. This is just like a Kopi O Hailam Pinang with sugar. So this is like black coffee but with sugar. It's a two-in-one. The sweetness is just at the right amount. There's only like one left. Yeah, I drank it this morning too. Another favorite of mine, which I can't show you, is actually soft-boiled eggs. <laughs> I don't know, I just have this huge obsession with soft-boiled eggs. When I go out, I'll order soft-boiled eggs. When I'm at home, I'll make my own soft-boiled eggs. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen tons of Insta video of me popping the egg yolk and all the egg yolk thingy thingy, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think the rest are just like clothing favorites, movie favorites, beauty favorites. So my favorite bag of the month is this one. Okay, like this one you've seen before, but I didn't really show much. But I've always wanted like a rattan bag kind of thing, but they're overly priced here in Malaysia. So when my aunt went to Bali last month, she went and got this one. I'm so happy! And the printing inside is actually really pretty. Although it's quite difficult to like get stuff in and out, but it's pretty, you know, it's pretty. Moving into beauty favorites. My favorite has got to be the Etude House glass tin. I have been wearing this a lot. I've actually put it on today. Mm -hmm. It's just a very natural, balmy kind of lip thingy. The one that I have is in the shade BR402. Yeah, it's just a very, very British natural looking. Mm. I like that I can apply it without looking in the mirror because sometimes you know when you're on the go, for example, you're in the bus or you just, you're walking and you need to rush to somewhere and you have no time to stop, stare in the mirror and like proper put on lipstick like how you would with liquid lipstick. You have to be really careful. This one, I can just pop, pop, pop and just go even when I'm walking, so that is why I like it. Another lip favorite of the month is the Katie Doll Nude Me Liquid Lip Matte, which I actually worn in my last makeup video, the K-Inspire makeup video. I really love this. This is like the perfect pink nude color for me. Mm -hmm. I really love this. This is in the shade Rose Blue. I've not tried any of their lipstick before. This is my first time, so... Yeah, good impression. Good first impression, actually. So as I've mentioned in my vlog, I have been loving this one. This is the Imon Nutritive Leave-In Treatment. 15-in-1 Nutritive Leave-In Treatment. Imon is basically like a Korean hair brand. The reason why I love this, this is not sponsored. I'm not paid to say this. No one... No one like asked me to say this, but I genuinely love this product. And I haven't like loved a hair product. You know I don't care about my hair, right? but recently I've been paying extra attention to it and extra care for it. It has grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, olive oil, all the good stuff. You basically apply it on your towel dried hair as a condition conditioner. You just leave it in. Whoa, birdies! I actually applied it today and it just kind of tame frizzy hair. My hair is really really frizzy and very dry looking so look after applying it it looks more smooth. Just imagine to those that has like good hair but a bit frizzy but you don't really have dry hair. When you apply this I'm pretty sure it will look so good. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I actually wrote a blog post about all the other products that I tried. There's like a soy cocoa conditioner and I'm also currently using all their shampoos, conditioner, mask and everything. And I have a discount code for you so if you want to check it out click the card up here not sponsored I genuinely love it so whenever I recommend any products or 
when I say I love something, I genuinely love it, okay? If I don't love it, I won't share it to you. If it doesn't work for me, I won't share it. So you can definitely trust me on this. So moving on to my fashion favorite, I had been loving this. Oh my gosh, you won't be expecting this. So my mom bought me and my sister both matching pajamas. Not really matching. Mine is rabbit, hers is monkey. This is the nicest pajamas that I've ever owned. <laughs> Look at it! It's so soft, so warm, so fuzzy, but it doesn't feel hot on the inside. It's so pretty, look at that rabbit. And we also have the matching bottoms. Mine is in blue, my sister one is in pink, which is kind of cool. Although she's more to the blue side, I'm more to the pink side, but I think it's quite a nice contrast, you know what I mean? Like, I'm wearing blue and she's wearing pink. And it's only like 20-something-ish. Her friend helped to get it at Sungai Wang there. It's cheap, but it's nice, and it's cute. <laughs> I just hate this kind of motto. Like they'll slowly walk past your house like no one's business. So if you know me well, you will know that I love wearing jackets because it just ties a whole look together. It, it looks like you have put in so much effort into that outfit but really, you just pop it on and hate it out. So I bought myself a new jacket. Ta-da! It's pink and that is why I bought it. I don't have a pink jacket and you know how much I love this kind of like dusty pink nudish pink kind of color. When I saw this, I was like, I'm getting it. I didn't even think twice. It's kind of like an oversized fitting, which I really love. I actually added like pins to make it look more fun. These pins are from Cotton On, if you're wondering. I don't think they have it anymore. I'm not sure. But yeah, I thought it just adds like a cute little touch to my already fun looking jacket. I had been loving a particular style of shorts lately in the month of August. So remember these pants that I bought in Hong Kong? I absolutely love it and have been wearing this non-stop. I love it so much. Not only is the colour my favourite thing but I love the length of it. I just love more loose fitting shorts now and not those tight denim shorts. Ugh, I think I'm just past that generation already. I'm just more into this um, more presentable. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me wearing this a lot, a lot. So I really love this. So when I went to Miramu the other day, they also brought out shorts like this, but in much more darker tone, not so pastel-ish. I wanted to get three, but I feel like it's a little bit too much. So I settled in for two. <laughs> so I went for this burgundy color, which is so pretty on. It's like a total huge contrast, but I love it. I think it's around 29 ringgit, which I think it's really affordable, especially if I know that I will get so much wear out of it, I know I will wear this a lot, a lot. I also got it in this um, olive color, olive green. It's kind of yellowish, but it's also greenish, so it's like olive, olive kind of color. This goes so well with any top color. I just have been loving this type of shorts, and I'm planning to get more colors. <laughs> Another bottoms that I have been loving a lot is these pants, which I've shown you before, but this is just like a nude three quarter. No, this is not three quarter. It just stops right like slightly above my ankle no if you follow me on instagram then you would have seen it already the only downside to it is that it creases up so easily because of the material so you need to like really juggle juggle or you know just go for the whole crease look so on days where i want to wear longer pants i'll wear this if not i'll wear this yeah can you see the tones that i'm currently into right now so another bottom that I have been loving recently but I haven't got the chance to wear it yet but it's a pattern that I have always wanted to get but they all just doesn't seem right but I found a perfect one like the exact one that I want but it's actually this polka dot skirt I like the fit of it like it just fits to your body, to your bottom and I love the polka dots on it. Some polka dots are a bit too old-fashioned looking but this one is just nice. And the reason why I got this is actually because I have an event to go to next month so I think this will be perfect. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at the size of it. It's so cute. I get amused easily if you do not know. Mudata <laughs> hippo. So to the two tops that I recently just bought but I really love, I only get things that I really really love so they'll always end up in my favourites anyway. You know I love a good old 
graphic tee and of course I love a little blushy thing <laughs> so when I saw this I was like oh my gosh I need to get it so to those that are familiar with Sunway Velocity there's this shop called MC Vogue and recently they had been bringing out more streetwear kind of style if you like streetwear definitely check them out I quite like their style actually but how many graphics tee do I need right I settled in for one I chose one that I really really love which is this one. Oh my gosh just look at the color it's so pretty it's really oversized it's free size for that whole streetwear style yeah it just says error 404 not found I love how it's white verdings because some of the color matching on their graphics tee I'm not quite a fan of I can't remember the price actually oh I think it's 36 something not bad la but I know I'll get so much wear out of this like I can even wear it at home it's so nice I can imagine me living in this shirt basically I've always wanted like a nice button-up white shirt. Mine has like patterns and stuff but I just want a plain one. I have been looking for the perfect one that I can wear to many occasions. Those that I know I'll keep wearing. So this one, look it looks like this. Those Korean style one with a v-neck, no collar. And the part that I love the most is the sleeve. It's like cuffed up over here. Because sometimes when you have those button sleeves, it looks way too formal and I don't like I don't like the whole vibe of it. This one just makes it look so much more casual and they have like this bell sleeve kind of pattern going on. I feel like this will look so cute with this tucked in. Ooh! In. <laughs> And maybe with this bag, this is a look. I'm on a summer holiday. Now, my favorite video will never be complete without a section for my accessories. Once again, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me wearing these sort of necklaces. I love it so much. I love this one. These are like some pendant ones from you, Louisa. And I also love this one especially. I just love it. I also have it in silver. Also, earring favorites. First one is this one, which I'm wearing right now. It's just so sophisticated. So classy looking. Two more. Look, it's so pretty. It's just orangey, translucent kind of statement earrings, which I know I'll get so much wear out of. And the last earring favorite is actually this thick silver hoops. I don't have like thick, thick hoops. I only have those thin ones. Now moving on to movie favorite. I actually have two this month. Ooh, I rewatched Princess Diaries and I freaking love it. It's so nice, just so nostalgic kind of feeling. I've been loving the movie called The Domestic. I actually know about this movie like quite some time ago when it came out, but I was like, ugh, it looks so, uh, you know, but then I decided to watch it post-apocalyptic, epoch, it's like a post-apocalyptic situation and it's all ravaged by gangs. So this young husband and wife, they must return to home. They must fight to return to home. And on their way home, they are like, they have to face different gangs. They are like different, different type of gangs. So that is just a rough idea of that movie. So if you love those kind of killing, killing movies, just trust me, it's very, it's quite a disturbance to the eye. I had to close my eye in so many parts. They just stab and stab and stab. It's like perch, but it's, not. If you don't mind those graphic things right, then you should give it a watch. Another favorite is actually Midnight Sun. Now, when I saw the trailer in the movie, right, I didn't like it. I was like, ew, I hate romance movie. But then I decided to give it a watch because I was just looking for some light movie to watch on a... I don't know which night was it, but normally at night, I just want a light movie so that I can go to bed in peace and not a brain tiring movie i gave it a watch and i absolutely love it i just love all the butterflies that i get because i'm not a romantic person so when i watch it i'm like oh and it also made me cry in a lot of parts so those are all my favorites in the month of august quite refreshing right a lot of things you haven't seen right <laughs> so i'll keep it this way don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me and i think that's all i'm gonna wrap this video up right here right now so yeah see you in my next video Bye!